Hi everyone, happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, so I know it's been a few weeks since I last posted a video. Um, and I'm not saying this to get like likes or sympathy. Honestly, it's just because I've been kind of depressed lately. Um, more than usual, my anxiety has been bad. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying this, um, you know, to garner anyone's sympathy. I just want other people to know that I get it. If you're going through it, it sucks. It sucks so bad. Um, if you ever need anyone to talk to him here, just message me, whatever. I'd be happy to lend an ear. Um, cause I've had to do that myself this past month, reach out to people, but on to happier things, AKA makeup. All right. So I already have my foundation on today. Um, so I'm not going to review that. I mean, I'm not going to review myself putting it on. I'll just go over it. So it is the L'Oreal. Paris Infallible Pro Glow. It's actually really nice. Um, it's been a while since I bought um, drugstore foundation. Um, for the longest time, I didn't even wear a foundation. So when I did start using it, I was afraid I just read too many things like, oh, it'll get drugstore. It's bad for your skin. I've been wearing this for like two weeks and it hasn't a single thing to my skin. Um, the only thing, the only two things I don't like about it are one, it doesn't smell the best. It kind of has like a like an alcoholy smell almost, like a chemical. And then the other thing is that even though it's only medium coverage, which is the reason I bought it, because I don't like super heavy foundations on my face, it does feel heavy on my face. Like if I took, I think they're, what are those things called? The Janers use squeegees that like you use to push the water. I feel like you could use a squeegee to like, on my face with this. So I don't think it fills medium coverage. I think it fills full coverage. Um, and once it's on, it does look really good. As you can see, I have it blended in and it lasts all day. Um, I will give it that. It does last really long, just as long as the, you know, more expensive high-end brands. Uh, so it's a really good steal because it's only $13. It's $12.99 um, plus tax, obviously. But to me, that's a great price for foundation that works good. The only thing I'll say is when I was at Target a few weeks ago when I bought this, once again, there's only like 15 shades. I'm like, brands gotta get it together. I don't know if that's just in the store that there aren't shades, but that's not something I noticed until I started doing these videos, like how little shade range there is. And that's just crazy to me. There are, you know, more than 12 shades <laughs> of people. So work on that other than that it's great i would definitely get it um especially if you're you know someone like me that you know maybe doesn't have to wear like a lot if you're someone that wants you know a heavier more full coverage this is only medium so you'd have to do probably like two layers but i like it it's good for the price um 12.99 can't beat it all right so moving on next i will do my blush which I know I've already reviewed a Milani blush, but it's the best blush I have, honestly. And I have like, you know, Tarte blush, I have Fenty blush, I think, um, you know, I just have a lot of different like nice brands of blush. And honestly, the Milani has beat them all. Um, so I'm gonna think about it, I don't think it's Fenty, <laughs> sorry. But anyways, this Milani blush, it is $7, um, which is great. Honestly, you can't beat it. It's very pigmented. It goes on really well, as you're about to see. Foundation's the only thing I have on right now. Um, I like it. It's easy to go on. It blends well. It seems to stay on as long as I, like, you know, set it with a primer. It seems to... Um, work really well and it's really pigmented I'll try to get a little bit closer so you can see ignore the like bags under my eyes <laughs> honestly all like the you know virus that's going around on top of my already worse like seasonal depression and anxiety that I get I've been getting zero sleep and uh yeah, you can kind of tell but that's okay it's, it's all right <laughs> all right so and this is also my new Jeffree Star mirror. Um, you can get them on this website. I think they're like $25 to $30. Um, I really like it. 
it's purple and it's pretty and it's a star so all right so i have the blush i have the foundation the next thing i am going to use now my next item it's an older item but you can still get it it is the fenty beauty kilowatt freestyle highlighter palette this shit is banging like it is crazy how intense like i can't wear this so work because the shades are like real bright but if i'm like a music festival or a concert or i'm just like out to dinner with aaron or we're out, out dancing this would be like it's clutch so <laughs> even though it's older you can still get it on um sephora and amazon to get it on sephora it's 27 dollars, 100 percent worth the price as you'll see um I know I'm in green, but I don't have any green eyeshadow. So we're going for a purple look today because I also just got the Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette, which if you follow him, it's like purple and gorgeous and brand new and amazing. I cannot wait to get to that part. But in the meantime, stick to the uh, highlighting. And I'm going to go in with this nice, pretty purple shade. It is called Scandal Ice. I love the names. We got Sub-Zero. Oops. Got Sub Zero Chills with a Z, <laughs> Honey Slope, Stone Cold, Cop and Ice, Heartburn, and then Sub Zero, which I might have already said already. Sorry, like I said, it's been a while since I've done one of the videos and I don't go back and edit them. So, what you see is what you get. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to take my damp sponge and go in in the pretty purple shade and I mean, already you can see like how much is on there. Anyways, so I'll just go to my left cheek and like, do you see that? I know I don't have the best lighting in here, but it's crazy. It's so pigmented. I love it so much. Purple is a shade that makes me extremely happy. So anytime I get an excuse to wear it, I'm like, yes, please give me the purple. All right. It's yeah, blinding in the sun, let me tell you, but gorgeous and I love it. <laughs> All right, and that, uh, like I said, it's 27, worth it completely. Um, I know it's like an older item and some are like, Barbara, why are you, why are you reviewing this? It's so old, but for me, who just recently got into makeup, it's all brand new. So <laughs> next I'm going to put on another Milani product there. Milani eyeshadow primer. Honestly, I thought for the longest time primer was stupid and just a way for the makeup world to make more money. And I'm slowly realizing I was wrong about this because this really does help my eyeshadow stay on better throughout the day. And this primer is also $7. So the same price as the blush, which I don't know. I don't know other prices of primer to compare it to, but that seems like a nice price to me. But those are supposed to let it sit for 30 seconds after you apply it, just to let it, um, you know, settle into the skin. Oof, I still get like the highlighter, like it's just bouncing off the light. I'm like, yes, clean. All right. <laughs> and then move on to the other eye. I still don't use face primer. I'm sure it would help you know, make everything look smooth too and help it stay on. Maybe that'll be my next, my next purchase. All right. So while we are letting that set, I'm going to grab my Bloodlust palette. That was my car keys. Just ignore that noise. Those are my chihuahuas. I'm going to shut the door. <laughs> Their name are Toph and Zuko. They're not normally that barky, but there's a commotion going on outside my apartment. No, house, sorry. All right, look how gorgeous she is. Beautiful. And, excuse me. They just needed to be told to shh. All right. Even 
gorgeous on the outside, this like velvet packaging. I don't know if any of y'all have ever watched Seinfeld, but George wants to drape himself in velvet in an episode. And after receiving this palette, I understand. Like, it's gorgeous. All right. Now, I got this the day it was posted on the site because this is, is a new palette. Um, the site like shut down while I was on it and I was afraid I wasn't gonna be able to buy it, but like my purchase went through like right before it like collapsed from just everyone trying to get the palette. But it's like a purple and pink. There are a couple like blues and greens on here, but it's mainly a purple, blue, and red palette. And no, not blue, I'm sorry. Purple and pink and one red palette. And then what I will be going in today, just because I already have my purple highlighter on, is the shade Blood Queen, which just like Rihanna, Jeffrey don't mess around when it comes to the shade names. All right, so I recently got his Morphe brushes on Morphe's website and they are amazing and they're actually not that much. I wanna say that for like, let me just grab a lot full of them. For like all this, it was like under 40, I think. Maybe a little bit above 40. I know it wasn't too much. When I saw the price, I was like, okay. Okay, Morphe, I see you. All right. So I'm going to go in with the shade Blood Clean on my eyelids. And I'm going to grab um, just this Packer brush. I have the world's tiniest eyelids. Like, I was doing my mom's makeup a couple weeks ago when she was here helping me paint. And I would kill for her eyelids. She actually let me do her makeup and I used this palette and she looked gorgeous. Although if you know my mom, you know that's not a difficult feat. She always looks pretty. All right, so as you can see, it is hella pigmented. And I'm not sure if all of y'all know, but purple is actually a really hard shade to make. Um, that's just something that I've seen in a lot of makeup videos of other people saying. So for a shade that's hard to make, he crushed it because that's really pigmented. And these are all new formulas. He said that on his promotion video for it. And honestly, I can tell that they're different formulas. They are just like slightly better. Not that any of his old palettes are bad. I mean, you saw me review Blood Sugar. It was also amazing. All right. And I do have it down on both eyelids. I know some people do like one eye at a time. Sometimes I do that. Other times I just do them simultaneously. Looks like today that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to grab a smaller um, uh, packer. I guess that's what I'm calling them. I don't know. That's what they're actually called. I'm going to go into shade Pink Magic, which is this crazy, like if you feel it, it's almost feels like butter and it's like this crazy pigmented purple that's like glittery. It's gorgeous. I love it. I wish I could wear obnoxious purple and pink colors all the time. But unfortunately, I work in a professional work environment, so I can't do that. But it's fun to play with at home. And when you put it on, it's so glittery it's just like it's a gorgeous shade i don't know what my favorite shade is but i love that betrayal is a freaking guillotine stamp <laughs> uh, that makes me laugh all right and i'll do the same on the other eye been thinking about taking like actual makeup classes not just for this but that's something that now that I'm interested in it I want to learn more about so I thought just for you know fun I would take some like makeup classes lord knows I need them and then I'm going to go in with another one of his Morphe brushes into shade High King and high is spelled like H-I-G-H because if anyone knows 
Jeffree Star and watches his videos, she's usually high. <laughs> so, and it's a little wand. I love the shade. It's just like a slightly lighter shade than the other purple I put down. And what I like about his stuff is that it's never, hardly ever any fallout. Like all of his products are always just chef's kiss spot on. <laughs> And this palette is um, $55. He's currently out of stock on his website, which doesn't surprise me because like I said, the site legitimately crashed on me. And I know a lot of other people when they were ordering it. His stuff always sells out quickly. That's sold out because it's, it's worth it. So, and then for the top shade, go in with a shade called beauty sleep it's this pretty pink i freaking love this palette i can't wait until it's not winter and it's the summertime and i go out more and i can wear all this give you a closer look at everything. I know I didn't blend it in necessarily the best, but I'm not going anywhere the rest of the evening. <laughs> so if it doesn't look the best, that's okay because I'm the only one who's going to see it minus all of you. So the last thing um, I'm going to review um, is some mascara, but before I do that, um, I'm going to take this, maybe, little mermaid brush and I'm going to just put some eyeshadow below the lid and I'm going to go with this Betrayal shade, the one that's the guillotine, it's a little glittery, and just put it underneath. The shade right here that's called Executioner. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, it's like a black purple glittery. I actually use that as eyeliner on the top lid sometimes, even though it's eyeshadow. I know that's not what it's supposed to be for, but I definitely do that. And I've done it, um, you know, where I'm doing this right now. I just didn't feel like black at the moment. All right. Now she is pretty and good to go. Minus mascara, of course. <laughs> All right. So the last item, and the only one I'm like really gonna bash on, I know I had like a little negative to say about the foundation. Really, it just smells bad. It's not a bad foundation. It just, mm, I don't like the way it smells. But this CoverGirl mascara sucks. Okay. <laughs> so it is $10. And I lied, it's not the last thing I'm gonna review. Lipstick is. So it's $10 mascara, which I have bought other mascara for cheaper that's a lot better. And I bought mascara that was way more expensive that is better, but you know, something being expensive isn't always worth the price tag for me. That doesn't guarantee it's something that's good. That's why if I can find something, drugstore, I'll totally get that, which is why I keep getting Milani blush. Um, and why I'll probably keep getting this Revolution mascara versus my Tarte mascara. I love my Tarte mascara, don't get me wrong, but it's like 30 some dollars. So if I can get this, which I thought was like, I think was like $12, hell yeah, I'm gonna do that. So. All right, so you'll see why I don't like this mascara here shortly. You put on an eye one 
you just put on like, you know, like one um, usage. I don't know why I stumbled on my words there. And it's like barely black. It's like gray. If I want it to look like I put on mascara with this, I have to do at least like four coats. Here's the word I was looking for. <laughs> four coats. Whereas with, you know, other stuff, one coat, maybe two. If I feel like I want to be real dramatic. But this is just straight gray to me. And also it's lash blast volume and don't give me no volume it's a liar 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 pants on fire and then one more coat finally it looks like i have some mascara on sorry i'm not trying to like get real close but i don't have a fancy person like holding my camera for me it's just all me oh Put on the other eye. I also don't like the brush. I like easily stab myself in my eye with it. Just all around, just not impressed. Which sucks because I remember like in Cover Girl when I was in like high school and like I used their foundation in high school. Remember using their mascara in the past? Obviously not this one or I wouldn't have gotten it. I got this when I got everything else and I've only used it once. That shows you how bad it is. The foundation I've almost am done with and I got it like three weeks ago. <laughs> oh, right. The last thing I am going to review is Tarte's lipstick. It's a five for 25 set. I think it's called like hearts and kisses or something like that. It's not a liquid lipstick, which is what I normally wear, but I freaking love this stuff. It, um, it's just a lined up one. So it's like old school, but <laughs> I love it. It goes on really well. As you're about to see, it stays on. I might have to touch up maybe a little bit after I have like lunch or something, but it, doesn't feel heavy on my lips. It feels smooth. Um, I don't feel like it feels flaky throughout the day. Like, you know how some lipsticks just get like flaky towards like the top. I really like it. Um, the only thing that I maybe don't like about it is, really, I can't think of anything I don't like about it. I actually really love this. And for five or 25, you can't beat that. And they're all really pretty shades. This is a bright purple. Once again, I'm gonna look horrific with this green dress, but gotta match the rest of myself. So, put that on. God, I love purple. It's funny because I did not like purple, purple and pink as a kid. But as I got older, I'm like, yeah, let's bring on the purple and pink. All right. That is all I have for the day. Um, I thank you if you watch this. Um, sorry I was a bit rambly today. Another side effect of depression and anxiety, which if you get, you know what I mean. It just kind of makes you lose your train of thought. So, Anyways, I thank you. I hope we're all keeping safe and doing our part while all this virus and craziness is going around. Um, stay inside if you can. Watch this video. And y'all have a great St. Patrick's Day.